when we open spaces we have two views we have the data view and the variable view for the data view we have the variables here and the cases here so those variables can constitute the questions or items in a survey and we can edit them or modify them from the variable view whereas these cases here represent the data for each case let's say respondent one uh, male or female etc and then to modify the variable uh, list we go to variable view and the first column here is related to the name the name here should not contain any space or uh, strange symbols as listed here so the first let's say variable can be gender the second column is type so it is automatically uh, numeric if we have comments or qualitative data we can change it into string so in this case we want it to be numeric click ok the width and decimals are not necessarily needed because they are just referring to the format of the cells then the most important element is the label so gender here as a name should not contain space but for example the label can contain uh, the whole question for example what is your gender it is your uh, gender like this or we can just have gender then the values we can just add uh, one for male and two for female the values are the codes that refer to the cases that we have in the questionnaire so two is female and click ok then the missing in case there are some missing values we can just define them here otherwise we can leave it empty and spaces will automatically define it the columns uh, is not needed as well uh, as it is set automatically then the alignment uh, the right and the left usually for numeric data it's uh, right aligned whereas for qualitative data it is left aligned automatically like in excel spreadsheet then the measure we have three measures we have scale nominal and ordinal so the first type is nominal or categorical like uh, gender male female prefer not to say etc then the second type is ordinal uh, they are called ordinal because they can be ordered like uh, education level first year second year third year so there is an order in contrast to for example gender male female or in contrast to uh, other categorical variables like colors red green yellow etc or nominal variables so the difference between nominal and ordinal variables is that ordinal variables can be ranked uh, from one to two to three etc like first second third etc so uh, this is for ordinal variable then we have the scale variable type that refers to interval and ratio variables like the age in years like 21 24 26 etc or the degree of uh, let's say temperature in fahrenheit or celsius or whatever metric or non-metric measures then we have uh, other uh, you know uh, values like uh, the temperature as i said in decimals etc so this is for the scale sometimes the scale can be created like the composite score of a set of questions or the overall score of let's say uh, a test then the role the input here um, they are not uh, important and this is set by default in spaces uh, as input so what is important is the name the type numeric the label the values and the measure so sometimes the measure is determined automatically by spaces but sometimes we need to change it now we move to data entry so we have this variable that is gender and we have set of uh, let's say uh answers and we need to enter them suppose that the first uh, respondent said that it is one so here one refers to uh, male 
So this is the code book. So one refers to male and two to female. So you can just click this to see the uh, codes and the labels. For example, the second one is a female, etc. Till I continue. And the second variable, I can just go to it from here and it say it's age. So I will just keep it as it is. Uh, here I can just add age and it is scale, whereas this one is uh, nominal. You see, although I left it as scale, it, it did not impact the data entry at this time, but maybe for the analysis it will. So here we just move to age again. And it say the first one is 19, then 20, then 23, then 28, then 30. So we have this data with regard to gender and age. So we need to conduct some uh, types of analysis, especially descriptive statistics. And we also have inferential statistics for hypothesis testing. So for the trends and patterns, we go to analyze and then descriptive statistics and then frequencies. And I will move the variable that is categorical, which is gender here. Uh, if I'm using SPSS 28 and above, I can create APA style tables. And I go to uh, statistics and click uh, if I want to choose the um, central tendencies like mean, median, mode, etc., or measures of dispersion like standard deviation, variance, range, etc. But for gender, they are not needed because gender is a categorical variable. Uh, I may choose charts and here I can just choose bar charts and click uh, continue. Before that, we can see whether there are frequencies or percentages that will be displayed in the chart. So let's just keep them frequencies since the sample size is very small. Let's click continue. Here display frequency tables. I can just leave, uh, leave this clicked and click OK. And I will have the output menu or window so here you see the valid and missing and you see gender male female and the end that refers to the sample size and this percentage symbol that refers to the percentage and this is the chart male female i can double click the chart and i can add elements which are going to be frequencies because we set that into frequencies i can change the color and many things from this menu so I can just copy this and paste it to Word document and uh, that's it. So this is as far as the frequencies and percentages are concerned. If I want to run other uh, descriptive statistics like, uh, let's say, uh, the mean and standard deviation, I can do that from here, analyze, and then descriptive stats, and then frequencies. So here I will move the gender to its place and go to age. So antic display frequency tables, go to statistics. We want to have, for instance, the mean, which is the average and the standard deviation, like which is plus minus the average, like what, what the difference or the similarity in the age uh, of the respondents. I can also choose quartiles or any uh, thing from this menu and click continue and then from charts let's choose uh, histograms and we can show normal curve on histogram for normality distribution if in click continue and okay so this is the um age and this is the descriptive stats especially the mean which is 24 this means that on average these uh, people are 24 and they have standard deviation of plus minus four uh, 0.84 so this means that there are some people who are less than this age by four years like they are 20 and others who may be higher than this age which is for example uh, 28 so this is the standard deviation then we have the percentiles uh, for the 25th and uh, 75 then this is the histogram which shows no normal curves and the data is not normally distributed uh, this is in brief how we can run descriptive stats. If we want to run inferential stats, I can go to analyze and then uh, suppose I want to compare gender groups. I can uh, do that from compare means and from this list, I can go to independent samples t-test. So here I put the gender 
and the codes that are given to gender are one two and then i put age in the test variable i can uh, keep the effect size clicked if i want to see the power and click ok so this shows the difference between male and female in terms of the age this shows that males are older than females since their mean score is higher and whether or not there is any statistically significant difference we can check it from here so the p-value that is less than 0 0.05 shows that there is statistically significant difference between the two groups however here it's not less than uh, 0.05 it's above this means that there is no statistically significant difference there are other tests like ANOVA uh, regression among others that will be explained in other videos see you soon Bye for now.